Let's take a minute to talk about some of the options available for two-axis contours when working in EDM. We'll begin by adjusting the options for this rectangular pocket. When I roll my cursor over each operation in the tree, I'll see it highlighted graphically. When I find the one I'm looking for, I'll click the plus sign to expand it to see its corresponding feature. To edit the options for this two-axis contour, I want to edit its definition. I can do so by right-clicking on the operation and selecting Edit Definition. Or I can simply double-click on it. This is the two-axis contour options window. On the first tab, we can adjust things such as skim passes and glue stops. In the skim passes section, I can control the number of skim passes and if I want them to go all in the same direction or alternate in a clockwise, counterclockwise fashion for each pass. In the glue stop section, I can specify no glue stop and as you can see here in the preview, a tab will not be left behind. If I do want to use a glue stop, this is where I can tell Camworks how much material to leave behind by setting the stop distance. In case you want to use the coreless to rough out all of the material, all you need to do is specify the step over distance, or in other words, what percentage of the wire diameter will overlap the previous pass. If I set this value to 80%, then 80% of the wire diameter will be cutting into material on each pass, while 20% will be overlapping the previous pass. For this example, I'll switch this option back to using glue stops. Another option you should be aware of is this machine height section. You can specify whether it should be from the stock or from the feature. Some of these other options below are beyond the scope of this course, so let's continue on with the options under the Lead In, Lead Out tab. Here I can select how I want the tool to lead in and lead out of the feature when cutting the part. As I click on each option, you can see in the graphic preview what it will look like. There are also different settings that can be adjusted for each type below depending on which lead-in type you've selected. On the Cutting Conditions tab here, you can override the cutting conditions for this particular operation rather than using the settings we set when defining the machine. We'll leave these alone for this feature and simply use the default settings. Finally, on the Posting tab, these options basically control how the NC code will be output in terms of where the center of your tool will be in relation to the feature you're machining. In other words, they determine whether or not the CNC data that's being transmitted represents the center line of the toolpath or the edge of the feature. This determines whether the machine or camworks compensates for the tool radius. If you have the CNC compensation turned on, then the machine will compensate and offset the toolpath by one radius of the tool. When you have the With Compensation option checked, Camworks offsets the tool by one tool radius from the feature you are machining and does the compensation. 